Hello. Welcome to our video on scale nomenclature. At this point, if you're not familiar with key signatures, I suggest you click on this following link and go back and watch that video. It is very important for you to be very comfortable with key signatures and to be able to determine the notes in a major scale before you begin this topic as it is one of the more difficult topics we've covered so far. Okay, so right now I have a list of scale nomenclature, which are the scale degrees. So in a major scale, you write out all the different notes in the musical alphabet, which are seven. And for each scale degree, you have a name. So the first scale degree is the tonic, second is the supertonic, third is the mediant, fourth is the subdominant, fifth is the dominant, sixth is the submediant, and seventh is the leading tone. Now, you just have to memorize this list, whether you want to come up with a word poem for it, or, but these are just something you need to memorize at this point. So what are scale degrees? Well, in a major scale, the f if we're in C major where we have no sharps and flats, the first note of that scale would be a C. And what that means is that first note is the first scale degree, and we call that the tonic. So C would be the tonic. Now the second scale degree is called the supertonic, in this case would be a D. The mediant would be E, which is the third note. Subdominant would be F. Dominant would be G. Submediant would be A. And the leading tone would be B. Now if you were to end, ba end up back on C again at the next octave, you would still call that the tonic. So there we have all the different scale degrees or notes written out within C major. So let's try a couple um, examples of how to determine the different scale degrees within a major scale. So here are our steps for scale nomenclature. The first step I have is to determine the key signature. So if you want to determine the dominant of F major, the first thing you have to do is determine what is the key signature of F major. Well, F major has one flat, and that is a B flat. So the next thing you have to do, once you have that, is to write out the notes in that scale. So if you're going to start out on an F, the first one you'd write out would be an F major, because you're writing an F major scale. So the next note would be a G, because you're going up the musical alphabet, one note per letter in the musical alphabet. And the next one would be an A, and each time we're checking it against our key signature. Now a key signature only has a B flat, so when we get to B, we have to make sure we make that a flat. Right, so we have a B flat there going on to the next note, which would be a C, then a D, and then an E. And there is our F major scale written out. So our last step is to count and determine the appropriate scale degree. So since we're looking for the dominant, which is the fifth, we count down to the fifth note and we figure out that is a C. So the dominant of F major is a C. Okay, let's try the supertonic of B flat major. So the first step again is to determine the key signature. B flat major has two flats, a B flat and an E flat. So the next step now that we have that is to determine the notes in the scale. So we start on a B flat because we're in B flat major and we go up with one per letter name. So the next one's going to be C. We check it against our key signature. We're fine. D, we're fine. E, well we know that there has to be an E flat so we make sure we write that as an E flat. Then we can go F, G, back to A, and that completes our scale. So then we count down, supertonics is second, so the second note of the B flat major scale is a C, so the supertonic of B flat major is a C. Okay, finally, the submediant of E major. Okay, so E major, the key signature would be four sharps, F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, and D sharp. So once we have our key signature, we can write out all the notes in that major scale. So since it is E major scale, we can start with E, and the first note will be an E. Next note is going to be an F sharp, because there's an F sharp in our key signature. The next one's going to be a G sharp, because we have a G sharp in the key signature as well. Now when we go to the next note, which will be an A, we can just write an A because there's nothing in the key signature for A. We can write B. The next one will be a C sharp, and then the last one will be a D sharp, because those notes are in the key signature. So having written out all the notes in the scale, we can count and select the appropriate scale degree. The submediant of E major is the sixth. So you can count down six and determine that the sub 
of E major is C sharp. Okay, so the trick is just remembering which of the names apply to each of the different notes. So this concludes our video on scale nomenclature.